fled war and terror in Syria and Iraq. There I met Malik, age 15, who lost his leg to a barrel bomb, just one of the millions of victims maimed, murdered, and driven from their homes and separated from their families by the brutality of both Assad and ISIL. I know British Muslims will be thinking of people like Malik as you come together with loved ones this Eid to pray, to reflect, to feast, and to exchange gifts. As the faith group in this country that gives more than any other, I know you will take pride in the fact that Britain is the second largest contributor in the world to the Syrian refugee crisis. Over a billion pounds of British aid, our largest contribution to a humanitarian crisis in history, is helping people like Malik and stopping others from making the perilous attempts at reaching Europe with the malign hand of the traffickers. But British Muslims are known for more than their generosity. They're known for rising to the top of their fields, from business to medicine, from sport to politics, including the government that I'm so proud to lead. This is the great British story, a multiracial, multi-faith democracy built over generations where people can come with nothing and rise as high as their talent allows. So as families and friends come together this Eid, let us celebrate those achievements and let us reflect on those who are suffering during this holy festival. I wish you all a joyous and peaceful festival. Eid Mubarak.